you follow everything that I say in this video, you will get into the nursing school of your dreams. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine. I'm a third semester nursing student and I'm here not only to bring you along my journey, but also to help you through yours. Today's video is going to be all about the teas. I have tips, I have tricks, and I have my own personal study guide that got me advanced proficient on the exam. Before I give you all the tea on the teas, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell button, and follow me on my social media handles so that way you never miss what the doctor prescribed. So going right ahead into this video, guys, I'm gonna go over all of the things that I did um, section by section. If you are completely new to the T's, I've linked below 10 frequently asked questions about the ATI T's exam from the ATI website. Go ahead and look at that. It may familiarize you more with the exam and answer some of the questions you may have. First things first, what book did I use? I used the ATI Metrics book. Um, I bought it off Amazon. The book is gonna be pictured here. Ding. 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 I'm going to give you guys my first tip right here. If you don't feel like spending the money on a study book that you're going to use for a month or two months, um, or if you want to use a lot of different study books for this exam, go ahead and look at your local libraries. I found this book in all of my local libraries and I actually checked it out at the library before I actually went ahead and bought it off Amazon and I think that that is a, such a great way to use many different study guides and not have to pay any money. So my personal studying routine, I studied for about a month and a half to two months. Um, I studied the science and the English grammar portion on a daily basis. Yeah. I to be real probably like five times a week and then the math section I studied I started studying for that like in the middle of my studying time so about a month in um, I started studying for that and I actually studied that the least and did the best on that section the reading section I incorporated weekly about two to three times a week so moving right into our first section is the math section. The math section is 36 questions and you have 54, 54 minutes to complete this section. A lot of it is like your high school algebra, um, unit conversions, fractions, turning fractions to decimals or multiplying fractions, doing percentages. You have some geometry on there as well, which will require you to memorize formulas. And honestly guys, there's no like real tip that I can give you guys for this section and I think everyone will say the same. You have to just use your study book. For me, the Memetrics broke down each different type of mathematical problem I may face and how to do it. Figure out which ones that you have um, problems with and basically what you need to do is Google worksheets. Um, on that specific type of problem and just keep working at it until you know how to solve the problem like the back of your hand. Once you know how to solve each of the different types of problems, once you know how to add fractions or multiply them, um, turning percentages, um, you know, different things like that that you've seen before in your algebra classes, you'll be able to do really, really well on this section. You just have to keep practicing. Memorize your common formulas, like your areas of um, shapes, different shapes and, um, you know, how you calculate those types of things. I can say if you're more like a visual learner or you prefer to have someone teach you how to do something versus like reading it, you can definitely look up the different types of problems on YouTube. There's plenty of videos. The reading section is 53 questions and you have 64 minutes to complete this section. And let me tell you, it is easy to run out of time. Like, I remember when I took the exam, I was so close to running out of time. And really what you need to do when you have this time to practice before the exam is you need to work on like your reading skills. Okay. Don't be fooled. It is not just reading. It is not just answering questions about a little paragraph that you just read. Actually with the reading portion, a lot of people may think like, oh, I know how to read and I know how to answer questions about a passage. Honestly, mm -mm. 
Mm -mm. It is different than that. One really big tip that helped me with this section is to read the questions before you read the passage. That way you know what you're looking for in the passage. Um, and you're not just reading like blindlessly or aimlessly. When you're doing practice questions in your study book, um, really look at the rationales as to why you got the question wrong because these rationales will give you a bunch of tips on um, how you need to approach questions and what a question is really asking. Um, so the questions that you get wrong and even the questions you get right, get the rationale so that way you know if your mind was on the right track or where you went wrong. Um, it's really important to know why you got an answer right and why you got an answer wrong. And these rationales are really helpful. Even though the passages and the questions will be different on the exam, they really help you um, kind of um, straighten your line of thinking. I can say with the reading portion though, a lot of the questions are theme based. They want to know about the central theme and um, think questions like that. And you'll see that when you take practice exams. They ask you a lot about key ideas and the structure, what type of passage you just read. Was it like a narrative passage? Um, was it an expository passage? Like they ask you a lot and honestly this is why I love the Memetrics book because it went over a lot of the different things that I need to know to answer, not only to answer a question but to really fully understand a passage. The next section is honestly the worst section. It's like worse than the science section and that is the English section aka the grammar section. You have 28 questions that you have to answer in 28 minutes and honestly you think you know grammar like I'm a pretty good writer like I know like uh, pretty much a lot of grammar rules but no what I did to study for this portion of the exam is I incorporated the grammar lessons that I learned in the Memetrics book in my everyday life in my everyday writing writing emails writing text messages writing notes I incorporated it all into my everyday lifestyle so that way I was mindlessly learning. The grammar section is basically a lot of um, punctuation, subject verb agreement, um, noun and pronoun agreement, spelling even. Um, so the metrics book goes over the different things you need to know. Things that you don't really remember like um, say you don't remember what, when to use a comma and when to use a semicolon, you need to look up those worksheets, even if they're elementary level worksheets, you need to know when to use that, um, when to use a semicolon versus a period, um, what is the noun and the pronoun and um, just, you know, the proper noun and all that stuff. Um, a lot of it you may already know, but there's a lot that you don't know. Familiarize yourself with how to use the proper grammar in any type of sentence. Um, this section is not to be taken lightly because it could be the reason why you don't get the minimum score or it could be the reason why you don't get as high as a score as you anticipated. The last section and the most dreaded section is the science section. So the science section is 53 questions and you have 63 minutes. Equations, knowing like your um, anions, your um, cations, your different elements, um, solid liquid gases, cellular reproduction, cellular structures, um, even anatomy, like just anatomy, um, obviously physiology, but just anatomy like of long bones and things like that. You really, really should focus on knowing your cardiac, your respiratory, your neurological, your endocrine, um, even like your digestive. Honestly, I recommend knowing them all, but those are like the main ones that I came across on my exam. And the test bank for these exams, guys, are like huge. So you may not get any endocrine um, questions on your exam, or you may get one and I probably got 20 or something like that. So each exam is different. That's why you need to know all your systems, but those are the common, common ones that I remember getting. And, um, that I've known other people to get as well. So what I did to prepare for this section is I took notes on every single body system and I made a nine, 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 nine. two hours later long study guide from it. Um, I think it's like 40 pages long and it has like 
almost every body system on it and um, you can find that study guide in the link below in the description for free on Google Drive and honestly this will save you so much time guys and it's very detailed it's very organized using this study guide got me above a 90% in the science section so I 100% recommend it obviously I did use the metric science section to figure out what exactly the different topics I need to uh, elaborate my knowledge on. So I actually converted the systems in the study guide into flashcards on Quizlet that you guys can also have access to in the link below. Um, and you guys can add them to your own Quizlet profile and just kind of edit them to make them make sense for you. And once you learn a system, you can look at videos from like Crash Course or Khan Academy, any other like reputable um, YouTube videos on a specific body system and they kind of go over in general like what you need to know and that's really good for um, kind of refreshing your mind. I 100% recommend looking at YouTube videos, um, looking at your own notes from A&P and definitely looking at my notes from A&P and you guys will do great on this section. So I really hope you guys use my study guide. Um, it'll save you a lot of the sweat tears and you know time that I spent um, it will save you guys a lot of that so I really hope you guys use that and find it useful as well as the other tips that I mentioned throughout this entire video you guys can always leave a comment below or you know DM me on one of my social media handles if you have more questions with all of this information I gave you if you just follow it and you are diligent and you make time to study and really focus on studying you guys will do great and you guys will get into the school of your dreams okay so use these tips that I gave you guys and um, apply them to your studies um, take the exam and let me know how you guys do I really hope this video was informative to you guys and I will see you in the next one